Let's talk about why talk therapy is not an effective course of treatment for OCD typically. So with OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, we have obsessions. Obsessions are intrusive thoughts or highly distressing thoughts that pop into our heads that we obsess over, right? So these might be kind of threats to our physical safety, threats to our emotional safety, spiritual safety, or social safety. So it might be concerns about harming someone you love. It might be concerns about whether you're a good person or whether your relationship is going to work out. It can really be about every, anything and everyone has obsessions to some extent, even those without OCD. Then we have compulsions. Compulsions are what we do to get rid of that distress, right? I'm worried that I'm in the wrong relationship, so now I'm gonna Google it to make sure that I'm not, or I'm worried that this surface is contaminated, so I'm going to sanitize it to make sure that it isn't, right? And we're doing these things to give ourselves certainty, but also to reduce our distress. And these compulsions are also things that people do, even when they don't have OCD. The thing that makes it OCD is that last piece, disorder. Obsessive compulsive disorder is when those obsessions and those compulsions have reached a point that causes clinical impairment to our lives, right? It can only be diagnosed by a therapist who understands OCD. So what's talk therapy? Talk therapy is when you get to sit down with a licensed mental health professional and they get to help you sort through your problems. It's different than sitting down with a friend because they have so much more context for understanding the way our brains work and can really provide you with a lot of insight that can be very, very helpful. It is a wonderful modality and we are not knocking it in the slightest. The problem is it's not always effective for OCD. While it can be so helpful for navigating different life transitions or other conditions, it's not always effective and that's because Oftentimes in talk therapy, we're sorting through the obsession piece. We're trying to understand why we're experiencing these obsessions and we're talking through it a lot. But what often happens is we're actually just doing compulsions. We're often just ruminating and we're reinforcing these thoughts as distressing threats when they don't need to be reinforced that way. The way that we recover from OCD is changing the behavioral piece. We can't change the intrusive thoughts. We can't change what pops into our head. And so instead we change our response to it. And that's what exposure and response prevention therapy is all about. It's about changing our response so that these thoughts can start to feel wimpier and wimpier until they're no longer act kind of impeding on our day to day. And this is something that often is not accomplished in talk therapy. Oftentimes people find that they're engaging in more compulsions, even alongside their therapist. And this is why we recommend seeing someone who specializes in OCD and is up to date on the latest research. And that includes exposure and response prevention therapy. That's what we do. And there's a link in our bio if you want to learn more.